Lot number 1106 is a 2011 Ford Crown Victoria. This vehicle has a cracked thermostat housing. I took close up pictures to show you uh, and I'm gonna do a video. I drove this car in the parking lot and it drove fine and I realized that I saw it overheating on me. So I turned it off really quickly and I opened the hood and I realized that the thermostat was missing the two bolts and the housing is cracked. It appears they were gonna fix it and they decided to listen, let's sell it in the auction. So it was just recently added to the auction. Uh, it's a 2011, I'm gonna show you what I see so you can feel comfortable and I want you to pay attention to what I'm gonna show you. All right, the rims and tires look good, the center caps are missing. The car was black and white, the white portion was painted in black with a roller with a heavy duty paint in order to comply with the Florida law. The police uh, color scheme needs to be removed. So the only way to remove it was painting the doors and the roof black and we painted it with a roller. It's, it's not gorgeous, it, it is what it is. So if, let me show you the rest of the car. Uh, okay, the corner lamp is missing. The front headlights are clear. The body is straight throughout. As you can see right here, the thermostat housing, I'm gonna put you here really close. You see there's a crack right there? I don't know if you can see it. Right there, it's cracked. That line you see there is cracked. So, and the bolts are missing. So that means they were gonna replace it and then they decided to say, let's sell it. Also, I noticed that the latch that holds the hood, the bolts are missing. They took it off. I don't know where the screws are at. I was looking for a set of screws in, but we don't have another Crown Vic to a surplus vehicle. Like, a, like a, what do you call that when you start taking apart another vehicle? Oh my God, I went blank. Ah, oh, whatever. So the, we don't, I couldn't find any screws here to put on that latch back on. So that means if you drive this car, the hood will open on you and you may get into an accident. So that's another reason why it needs to be told. Number one is for the housing being cracked and for having to get a housing, it'll overheat on you. And number two, the hood could open. So if you do buy this car, the tow truck driver, we need to, need to let them know that the hood opens up. When he's towing your vehicle, you don't want this hood to open up on you and damage your windshield. All right, I'm gonna start the car up so you can see how good it sounds, but I gotta turn it off quickly because it overheated on me and I cut it off really quick before causing any damage to the engine. So let me show you the rest of the vehicle before I hit the switch. All right, the body is straight. The interior is pretty good. I mean, compared to all these other ones, the dash is nice. The steering wheel has a cover, so it appears that the steering wheel has been protected through its life, so it should be in good shape. Uh, the passenger seat is nice. The armrest is good. The driver's seat, no rips, no tears. In nice condition, the door panels look good. All of them. Uh, the dash is good. I noticed that the vent, the AC vents on this one is broken, but the rest are in place. Let me show you the back seat. It's got a plastic rear seat. Okay, the headliner is nice. Door panels are nice in the back. The bodies are straight. Uh, the rear bumper over here had an impact, you can tell. The plastic, how it shreds up there, it turned into little lines. An impact was there. This side looks okay. And look at that body, the body is straight. So the paint, the black portion has scratches and little dings and dents, but we, uh, it was repainted, but like I said, with that Rust-Oleum paint. They did a pretty good job. But remember, if you want to make it nice, you're going to have to paint it on your own. All right, let me start it up so you can hear the engine. This is the last year they made this model, so. There it goes. It started up. Right. 
right here, if I accelerate, that, that'll come up and gush out water like you see water all over the place. The AC blows cold. I'm going to rev it up for you so you can hear it. The temperature is still good. You see the temperature there? Okay, I'm going to rev it up. See the water gushing out? All right, I'm going to turn it off. Cut the temperature. It's still good. It's not a hot yet. But I just want to be careful. I don't want to damage it. I'm going to park it now. So but listen to that engine. Sounds great. AC blows cold. Brakes are good. That's it. I'm going to turn it off because I got to park it. But I got to finish this video first. All right. That's pretty much it. Good luck.